Okay, yeah. so you're so you're doing your score. Yep, this is a piece I'm writing for a couple or a week in New Hampshire. Uh huh. And uh, they're gonna these musicians are going to workshop it, you could say, and sort of play through it, give me some ideas about what mm. I can do differently nice. or better for them. And uh, so, what type of program do you use for that? Uh, this is called Sibelius. Okay. Um, yeah. So it comes with its. It gives you the music um, chart. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, you, you can start from like a blank page. I mean, okay. And you can put whatever instruments you want. Interesting. So, yeah, this is written for wow. the four players play violin, electric guitar, harp, and percussion. Uh huh. And um, yeah, so this is a piece. And, nice. Uh, it's got some. And then you're doing yeah. artwork on top yeah. of it. Yeah. So what? Like, the whole thing is like uh, I'm trying to make it like. <laughs> what? sort of half improvisation half, oh my gosh that's so cool uh, half like um set in stone in a way yeah so they have yeah. Like a structure to improvise within yeah um, yep so wow. the drawings are like freely interpreted sections in a way that is so There's, like, interesting some notes in there but they're meant to be more open mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah is that part of the like do you have to do a thesis for your grad program i do this is um separate Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing this type of experimentation for a while? Uh, a little bit. I mean, uh -huh. I've been getting, I've always, I guess, liked, you could say, maybe experimental music, mm -hmm. but uh, this is, I've definitely been more getting in the ideas of um, what it means to improvise and the function of yeah. music yeah. and all these things and what makes music good versus mm -hmm. not good. I mean, there's a mm -hmm. whole idea of like, the canon and the mm -hmm. most music we play in concert halls is generally not improvised music mm -hmm. and studied in schools is not improvised. Right. So, but then it begs the question, is that better? Or like, why do we do these things? Right. Where does the canon come from? Right. So, um, yeah. And then you did all of these paintings or illustrations. Yeah, I did. Um, See music. Yeah. There you go. Improvised music. I yeah. told him he should record the sounds of the donkeys and like alter it. On yeah. His, some stuff <laughs> yeah. that he does. Those are the boys. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that's Ducky <laughs> telling the girls he wants them to come over. Really? Oh my God. But when he's talking to when he's talking to Smokey on the other, because they used to be best friends, but now they're separated, uh -huh. so that makes it. Um, you know, the girls competing for the girls and there's this really interesting like deep guttural yeah. kind of like ur, 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 yeah. when they're like side by side it's pretty cool <laughs> anyway uh <laughs> did you do the paintings i and... did yeah okay well yeah so these are all digital mm -hmm. and then the other day Raylan and i painted with actual acrylic uh, yeah. paintings, so nice. i just scanned that in uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh. so there's um there's a designer artist uh theatrical person his name is warren layer mm -hmm. and he does what you're doing but with typography and stories l-e-h-r-e-r -E -E so um there's a book there's a, one of his first things it was called french fries so if you look that up french fries by layer l-e-h-e-r mm -hmm. it's all about sound and the narrative story gets more and more chaotic like that Interesting. Hmm. That's fine. and i think i found it french fries, french fries. yeah By dennis bernstein uh Lump. and let me see yes yeah, so really yes that's it yeah. okay. but look for, look at the images okay a book that is also a play mm -hmm. and a metaphor ah. for life that mm -hmm. represents a group portrait set in a dream of queen Rostrum. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. oh that's so much fun but it starts out with the different characters and it's kind of this calm thing but then the chaos shifts right and it's like the scale of the sound and the amount of you know what are you hearing so he's kind of doing what you're doing but interpreting in a visual way yeah. with right. words and symbols and things like that yeah. so maybe that will inspire you yeah that's pretty <laughs> pretty similar uh, yeah thing or that is yeah that's a a book it's almost like a graphic novel right yeah. right and then some of his later work he's really exploring um you know storytelling in a way that is like the graphic element coming into it but that one is the most i mean like visual compared to some of the other ones that i've seen newer they're more refined and one of his books called um 
the life of blue Mobley or something like that. I think I have a copy of it mm -hmm. is, um, it's more about kind of like the idea of the book and all these book mm -hmm. covers and kind of like the characters, like an author and a publisher. And, you know, so he kind of goes into like the theory of the book, but that one is more of his, his experimentations with like, um, voices and sounds and theatrical. And then mm -hmm. how do you interpret that into a printed thing? Which is why I had I was struggling with the word print last night. Yeah, like yes. Pictionary, yeah, right? Exactly. Like, how yeah, do yeah. we do a print? Yeah, there's so many different things to. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do represents. like stamp. Yeah. Print. I don't know. I couldn't yeah. figure. I guess maybe art print would have been yeah. one too, right? Yeah. You yeah. play Pictionary all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anything, really. <laughs> That's awesome. Actually.